The death of a man two months ago at a home for developmentally disabled adults has led to Maine DHHS cutting ties with the company that ran that home. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Amanda Hill in for Cindy Williams. DHHS Commissioner Jean Lambro says her agency will no longer pay residential and community services of Biddeford for boarding more than 60 adults. New Center Maine spoke with the CEO of that company this afternoon and Hannah Deneen is here now to tell us more. Hannah. Yeah, Pat and Amanda, while the CEO wouldn't go on camera today, she spoke candidly about feeling blindsided by DHHS's announcement to cut its funding. But before we get to that, we take a step back to August. That's when a man died at one of the residential and community support services, 38 residential facilities. DHHS says it happened because staff there failed to give the man critical medical condition and failed to contact emergency medical services. But RCSS is paying painting a very different picture today. Today, News Center Maine spoke with a very emotional staff and CEO of the company. While the CEO wouldn't go on camera, Christine Tiernan says the man who was died there was in their care for just 72 hours. She says he was a diabetic and was refusing treatment. She also says the man's guardian was DHHS, so staff called the department and they sent over one of their employees who actually yelled at staff while the man had a medical episode. So it's unclear whether an ambulance also was ever called. Tiernan says she plans to appeal DHH's decision to terminate funding and she plans to sue the department as well. Meanwhile, DHHS Commissioner Lambrew released this statement today. She says the health and safety of Maine people is our chief concern. This company's unacceptable failure to ensure the well-being of its residents has led to take us to take steps to safeguard residents health and welfare and transitioning to alternative homes. We can uh, we'll do all we can do to help ease the disruption and distress caused to residents and their families as we hold the company accountable. So as uh, that statement implies, while uh, there are, sorry, excuse me, before, while there are some improvements, there have been some uh, since late August, DHHS has documented failure to administer medications to other residents at RCSS's facilities, placing their health and safety in jeopardy. Also, failure to demonstrate that the company has an effective quality management and monitoring system to reasonably assure residents health and safety. Also failure to implement effective safeguards to assure that overall health and care standards are met. Ongoing investigatory activity related to the death that has delayed and threatened RCSS's capacity to identify and implement essential reforms. So as the uh, commissioner's statement implied, residential and community support services was caring for 68 clients and it's our understanding they're all being relocated now with the help of DHHS. It says it will continue to work with the company while they are moving their residents to new homes and they will assist in also finding those placements. The transition is expected to happen in the next 30 days, Pat and Amanda.